us that your date is missing. I did not get ghosted. I think he was taken. And now she, D.R. Kilpatrick, is taking over the city, promoting her new scripted series, D.R. from Detroit. Not only did D.R. create and executive produce the dramedy, she stars in it. And yes, she's really from Detroit. From an artistic point of view, the city really fed me. So I was in Mosaic Youth Theater. I was always at the DIA. I was always at the Charles Wright Museum. Diara says it's those experiences that help shape the creative she is today. And when it comes to how she conceptualized the series, she credits Detroit for that too. For one, there was a local Detroit story that was sort of inspiring, um, kind of ripped from the headlines news story that I think people will recognize when they watch the show. Um, the other thing was sort of like the advent of ghosting to me was really interesting. Like it's this cultural thing of just like, hey, we had something, we don't anymore, I don't really need to talk to you about it. You know, I thought that that was just a, like, a very particular interesting thing that's going into society and I wanted to comment on it and like bring attention to it. And then the other thing is, growing up here in Detroit actually, I spent a lot of time with my grandmother curled up with her on the couch. We watched Perry Mason, Matlock, and of course Murder, She Wrote. And I always wanted to see like a black female private investigator from that lens, like from the lens of a black woman. Because she didn't see it growing up, she created it. Now Diara from Detroit. Diara. Diara. Hopes other women see themselves represented in the series too. Okay, so the thing about this new series, it is phenomenal. I was able to see a little bit of it yesterday, and when I tell you, I was on the edge of my seat trying to piece together all of the clues. It was great. I cannot wait for it to come out on March 21st. And the great thing about this is CBS and BT were all under the Paramount umbrella. So I'm going to let you guys take a look at what's kind of happening here. We're at the Garden Theater in Detroit, and it is very much a celebration. So right now, a ton of folks are inside watching the screening. It's wrapping up. Then they're going to come outside for some entertainment. Local artist Charity, she will be putting on a little bit of show for people. And then some of the cast will do a meet and greet with uh, all of the Detroiters who have come out to celebrate. And it is so exciting just to be here in this space. And then speaking with Diara, she is a gem. Okay, she is truly a Detroit girl. She grew up in the Cass Corridor area. She went to Bates, and I found out today we also went to the same high school, Detroit Country Day. I don't always find a lot of people who went to Country Day, but shout out to my high school. Uh, definitely a proud alum. And like I said, they're going to be partying all throughout the day because it's 313 day, and it was really important to Diara to make sure that she was able to do something for the city of Detroit and really partake in the day with all of us. Amir, I know you've been talking to a number of people, and just to hear from Detroiters and to hear from t people talking about just how prideful they are to be from this city of so much resilience, so much grit. I talked about uh, the city helping shape me into a woman of grit and grace, grit and grace, and I truly mean that. It has, it's been, it's so amazing to be from Detroit. Okay, I think some more people are kind of coming out, uh, and so in a bit, this little atrium area it'll be filled up with a lot of people again celebrating today celebrating this new series it is definitely something worth checking out and it comes out on BT plus on March 21st I'm definitely gonna be tuning in hope you guys tune in too we're gonna toss to a quick break for for now but reporting live at the Garden Theater Lauren Winfrey CBS News Detroit